Hey guys, little update. So my car is literally getting destroyed at the height that it's at right now. And I really don't want to raise it because I like how it looks. It looks good. But I don't have my fenders rolled. I don't have anything to like comply with this height. So, I mean, getting my fenders rolled does not make a difference in what just happened today. I was driving and I was on a street that had construction. It was just a one-way street, so I couldn't go left or right, really. And there was these huge steel plates. It were literally mountains. It was just so high from the ground, like a big chunk and i was like as soon as i saw him there was no going back i was already in the middle of the intersection i was like so i just took it i just took it i was only going like 10 miles per hour but it rocked everything in my car it was so bad i was like oh it's fine i just scraped really bad but no then i heard clunking noises and i knew it was my bumper support so i pulled over into the plaza and i had to freaking lay down in the middle of the ground and try and rip it off and i did rip it off i had a little blade in my car so freaking cut myself it was horrible and my cousin was just like watching me recording me struggling in life the things alex does for her car this is what came off and my bumper support has always been like holding on for dear life but this was just like the icing on top and it was like barely hanging on from this so i had to cut it off with the blade and it was pretty freaking thick, honestly. I thought it was gonna be easier. But now we got more. I don't even know if you'll be able to see this. It's just like all coming off. It's bad. I could just hear it and it sounds horrible. Also, my fender lining ripped as well. So that needs to come off. So this is what is coming off. I don't have good lighting. I'm sorry. Can I see that? So I'm just gonna take it off because this is what's dragging and then I'm also gonna take off my fender liner And then the other thing, I don't even know if this is even my bumper support anymore. I think it is I don't know It's literally on the floor This is the only thing that's holding it on so I'm gonna take it off It is way too on there so we're gonna get to cutting this I literally get attacked by bugs like there's no tomorrow, so I'm taking a much needed break. Cause I see them out here. They're active. After 3,000 hours of cutting and going back and forward, I came off. So now I got both pieces. It's literally dark already. <laughs> the mess I'm making so yeah it's just like a chunk is missing so I'm just gonna rip it off I'm not gonna take the whole thing off because it just goes all the way around so look at how dirty my wheels are I'm debating I'm literally just sitting here and scrubbing them I might go to a cars and coffee tomorrow so these are not gonna come off at the car wash so leave it like that it's kind of like you just got a little haircut but I don't know can you see that and that's where it cuts off <laughs> so you can still kind of see oh I have my side markers should I do my side markers right now I think I'm gonna clean my wheels because because if I do go to this cars and coffee tomorrow I probably won't be scrubbing my wheels at the car wash and I haven't given them like a good scrubbing so I think I'm gonna take my time and do it at home. Okay, well I've never actually cleaned my wheels like this, so we're gonna try it. And I don't have a hose. Well, I do have a hose, but it's like in the front yard. And I don't wanna be in the front yard because it's not time ready. 
So I have my Home Depot bucket with some water and I'm just gonna use that glove because one, I don't really care for these wheels. I wanna get them re-powder coated because they just have a bunch of curb rash. That is f***ing disgusting. Juanito's being a hater right now. <laughs> I haven't. Did you go off road with me? <laughs> I just finished washing my car. That was the fastest I've ever washed my car because then I have to wash my wheels. I need to start doing that more often when I have time. We had a park. So, why'd you close the hood? We were just coming over here. He didn't want to park next to us because he said we don't have cool cars. <laughs> That's it. It's a simple uh, 302. Fast speed, that forest color. <laughs> <laughs> if you go on that side and look over. Um, so right now it's pressurized from like the fuel. And if you pull the throttle, you feel the gas. Oh. You wish that was you, huh? No, I do not. Okay, I wish it was you. On a dark car, do it on the Supra, please. It will look so good. I don't know what to do now. We're sitting at the curb in front of Juan's house. I want to get food. 
No one else wants to get food. So I just got home. It's about like 12.30 right now. And we went to Kane's. We literally were like in there and out. We ate and we were like, we're tired. And I was like, I'm tired. So I think I'm just gonna chill for a little bit or I'm gonna start editing this video. And if we meet up later, we might do like a barbecue or something. I don't know. Just in case I don't do anything else today, this is where I'm going to be ending the vlog. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.